Okay, I have my bracket made for my motor. That was quite a bit of drilling to get all that organized. And I think I've got it wired up. This is the Curtis controller. This is a, a kind of a, it's got a micro switch on off. And then also a, when you, when you uh, pull this lever, it's a throttle through a resistor that wires up in low low amperage wiring into the side here and then negative terminal which is what actually connects the positive goes right off the battery to the motor and the negative terminal for a series wound motor like this i think i only need one terminal on this so it's this bottom terminal here. And if everything is right, when I pull that lever, the motor should spin. And it should spin faster when I pull the lever more. And it does. I'm running all of this off of the replacement lithium battery for my forklift. This is uh, sitting in the back of my forklift. Originally that bay it's sitting in was one big giant lead acid battery. And I replaced that with this lithium battery. And the forklift works fine on that. I will need to add some counterweight to that machine before it can lift at its full capacity. But Works, that works good, and since I had the battery already, it's a cheap way to play with uh, a new project. And so the next step will be install, well no, the next step is getting the right uh, pulley on the shaft. And then it'll be ready to install in the forklift. So that's an update on my uh, conversion to electric uh, forklift.